Hello, I'm Alistair Black of Fristan Pumps and I'm going to talk to you today about our revolutionary design rotary lobe FL2 positive displacement pump. The Fristan pump is a unique design in that it's very modular as you can see. Uh, it has a very short compact gearbox with a minimum am amount of working parts. As you can see as I remove the front cover, we use a bi-wing rotary lobe uh, opposed to uh, some of our competition use a tri-lobe rotor. Some of the benefits of a bi-wing rotor design uh, is, as you can see, there's only four points of agitation within the pump head. With a tri-lobe, you're looking at six points of agitation, which actually damages the product, manipulates the product much more. Also, we have a much longer slip path or arc on the rotor, so that handles the product again more gently, because if you can imagine, uh, it's very, it takes a very short space of time to slip past the tri-lobe, whereas it, the bi-wing holds the product uh, that much better. Uh, also, the timing of a bi-wing is much easier. Uh, Tri-lobes uh, have an inherent problem when they're maintained, uh, they're put back together, the timing's incorrect, and the rotors contact each other and wear much more severely, so the pumps tend to last a lot less longer. So if I can remove the rotor nut to give you an idea of the bi-wing, which is a symmetrical design, and I can pull uh, the unit like so, just to show also another unique format that we have is our uh, mechanical seal design. If I can remove the rotor, and behind the rotor we have this distance bush which actually sets the clearance between the back of the rotor and the housing. Uh, unlike so, uh, some of our competitors shim the gearbox to get the shafts in the right position. You reset the pump, you find out that the clearance isn't correct, you have to take the whole pump apart again and re-shim. This unique design sets the clearance, so you could take the mechanical seal out of the pump altogether and you would still have the right clearance. We also have the rotary seal, which sits on a triangular chamfer on the shaft. There's no locking screws or grub screws. Any device to locate the seal on the shaft itself, it's locked into position and it's very simple and easy to fit. Likewise, with the stationary seal, it's in an oval. And if I can show you the back of the rotor case, there is a, an oval in the back of the rotor case. Again, no locking devices, no grub screws. It actually fits simply into the back of the rotor case. So the seal uses uh, the material itself uh, and not location devices and locking rings which can be inherently weak. As you can see, the design of the pump is very simple indeed. Um, and for the rotor case itself, again very simple, it's actually machined out of a solid billet so the connections aren't welded on, uh, maintaining uh, the stability and integrity of the pump. It's a much stronger unit. Uh, we can also fit heating jackets, and the holes and channels are actually drilled through the pump housing itself, rather than only having saddles on each side of the pump. And this means the heat or cooling can get to the best place possible to the product around the mechanical seal area. So just briefly to outline what we've been through is the justification for buying our unit is clear. It's a simple design, easy to maintain, providing less downtime, longer service life, more efficient and gentle on your product. The decision is yours.